This is what an official press conference looks like. You know, there's a lot of just nothing going on. It was well, official business on Wednesday, January 8th at the Donaldson Senior Center. For people that drive, have an opportunity to put health information in their glove compartment. TDOT Commissioner John Schroer informed the crowd about the department's newest program to help save lives. Yellow Dot, it's a national campaign used in only a handful of states where important medical information is stored inside your vehicle. I've got all this information in my billfold, but it's not in my car. Bobby Slusher has a pacemaker, which would be an extremely important fact for first responders to know if she was in a traffic accident. I was in a wreck where, where one lady was killed. Douglas Stallings understands firsthand the serious impact of accidents. That's why he's thankful for this new program. They would, they would know what to do and how to treat. What medicines you're on. Oh, yeah, the, and the medicines that we need. And that's just the information that is stored on the form. Any medical conditions, allergies, current medications, and your emergency contacts. And although the Yellow Dot launch is targeting those 55 and older, anyone is welcome to sign up. We are like a husband and wife in two-car situation. So we would need information for the husband, say, in my car as well as his. Janice Judd brings up a great point. Drivers who use two vehicles are welcome to get one packet for each vehicle, then fill out two forms for each car. And don't forget to place the yellow dot sticker on your car window. And that's what this program is all about, that we will have more information on a person's medical condition, that we can direct their treatment, or do something for them during that critical time, that first hour. I want to encourage everyone that uh, would like to be involved in this program to get a yellow dot. Senator Jim Tracy and Representative Curtis Halford helped pass this bill. Honored to carry this legislation. I look forward to as many citizens as we can to, to get this uh, yellow dot program going. And I really appreciate Commissioner Schroer and TDOT taking the lead. And, and uh, leading us and in, in being able to, so we could do this legislation. I think it's a very positive step. I think it's one that needs to be done, and I am really for it. Yeah, I think it can save a lot of lives. Reporting for TDOT, I'm Deanna Lambert.